Okay, so two crucial challenges in Santiago. Uh, the first one is air pollution. Um, so in Santiago, apparently, uh, it's one of the most polluted cities in America. Uh, and obviously that's bad for citizen health. Um, and uh, so that's a big, you know, challenge in Santiago, uh, which is made worse and also contributes to climate change. At, or at least it's made worse by climate change. It contributes to climate change. Uh, so not great. Uh, but uh, independent of climate change, it is still there. Uh, water quality is the second uh, challenge. Um, or water presence, even, I should say. Uh, there is a high water scarcity. And, uh, you know, that comes if you remove the idea of um, uh, climate change. Uh, it's still there. Um, it's exacerbated by uh, climate change. But um, the high population growth in Santiago uh, is a major part of the problem. Also, the fact that 80%, approximately 80% of the water uh, that is produced in, in, in or at least that, that, that is available uh, in, in Santiago is consumed by mining, agriculture, and other industry. So that only leaves 20% of the water for people to consume and use at their homes. Um, so with the gr high population growth, uh, as it grows, it just becomes a, a bigger and bigger issue. Um, and uh, I think the city's urban fabric can become more sustainable by uh, first promoting green spaces, more green spaces. Uh, those will uh, reduce pollution, uh, like CO2 specifically. Uh, it will reduce the heat island effect as the 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 ground and the plants absorb <coughs> absorb the the sun's rays, um, and it will actually it can help to manage storm water, uh, which would help to prevent pl floods, which is also an issue that exists. Uh, that is, it, it would probably exist independent of climate change, but. In the, uh, climate change will make it worse. Um, uh, another uh, way to make it more sustainable is by improving public transportation. Uh, you know, eco-friendly transportation will reduce cars, uh, which produce more pollution. Uh, promoting n renewable energy like solar, wind, and uh, lake batteries. I know they're right next to the Andes, so I imagine that there's probably crevices and large uh, areas in the mountain that they could uh, probably add some small dams to uh, or build up berms, large berms that would allow them to collect water in the mountains. Um, so that way they can use it like a battery. They pump water up into those areas uh, to uh, uh, when they have excess energy from solar and wind. And then when uh, they run out, like, through the night, they can allow that water to flow back down uh, from the mountain using uh, gravitational potential energy uh, and convert that into kinetic energy uh, to power uh, the, the city when they have darkness or when they have, uh, you know, cloudy days or no wind. Um, the, the last thing would be for for making the urban fabric more sustainable would be um, water conservation, which could happen through gray water use. Um, like they could uh, they could water the the green spaces with gray water, um, much like we do with with our irrigation, um, and uh, they could do gray water recycling like we do here in Phoenix. Uh, and to implement a resiliency plan, um, I think it's really important to involve everyone. Um, you know, you need government, industry, and citizens all involved in uh, 
in uh, in this plan uh, so that everybody's participating. Um, the plan needs to be flexible and adaptable and it needs to be ready for uncertainties. You know, we just had a question about that on our quiz, uncertainties. Um, it, it, they're always gonna be present, so you gotta be ready for them. You gotta be flexible and adaptable. Um, and regular planning and reevaluation re of that plan is also key. Um, you know, you're gonna notice that there's problems with your plans, uh, likely, as different, um, you know, uh, disasters happen um, and so you need to identify those and fix them in the plan um, and uh, obviously the, the, the last thing is to allocate adequate funding to the planning uh, so that you can uh, you know be, be ready to do repairs um, and fund rescue missions and uh, you know fund preparation like you know flood berms and and flood drainage and um you know uh battery systems um so yeah that's my video